Now let me ask you a question. Oh, here if we go. If somebody uh, got a penalty notice for an apparent failure to vote, if they got a notice from the AEC, uh, do you think they should pay it? Of course they should pay it. Uh, oh, this sounds very much not so hypothetical. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm probably, it's probably illegal for me to say they shouldn't. So, uh, sure, pay the fine. <laughs> yeah, pay, yeah. Pay um, uh, no, well, I, I, I have a letter here to one Peter Van Onselen uh, from the Australian <laughs> oh, right. Electoral Commission that says, according to their records, he failed to vote on the federal election held on 2 July. Well, that's the least and of his issues. What, what will happen once the census gets a hold of him? Uh, we're going to be... I'll tell you what, he had that tin, that paper cup or polystyrene cup for Steve Irons early on this week. Mm. We'll need a pretty big bucket for PVO to get him out of strife with the ABS, I reckon, once they <laughs> figure out that... Uh, oh, hang on a second, hang on a second. With the, the fine, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a penalty notice for apparent... Apparent. ...failure to vote. Um, it's 20 bucks. That's money well spent. To not have to vote for either of those major bucks. parties. Yeah, look, they're right there, 20 bucks. $20 penalty, that's all it is. Interesting, interesting the premium they put on, oh on voting for a it's government nothing. versus 180 a day on the census, isn't it? Mm, it really is quite extraordinary. So how much are you going to be out once... It's $180 if the matter is dealt with by the court, Al Tom although, Cole. Although, Peter, I should mention that despite all your grandstanding, you're, mm. you got your wife to do the census form for you in the end anyway. So, you know, you were leading uh, all your followers off the cliff in the end. I was there. <laughs> well, if they're lemmings, so be it, Tom Connell. Um, but 20 bucks, that's actually uh, genuinely to not have to vote because I don't like compulsory preferencing. 20 bucks so is a small price. 20 bucks to pay. is a I small thought, I price to pay somebody, to not have to vote for one of those know, major parties. I thought it was $55. Well, according to Maybe the AEC, it it's, it's $20. But hang on, but here, here's the point to all of this as well is we don't have compulsory voting. We've got compulsory attendance. You can walk up and do what you want That's with the form. That's exactly so. right, Tom Connell. He could have walked in I guess and it just, just shows, written, I don't yeah, agree how, with compulsory preferential. Yeah, but then you just shows how little $20 means to you, Peter, And I don't What's wrong with that? Well, because some politicians argue that the informal vote is not a deliberate, but rather it's people that don't know how to fill out the ballot paper. And I'm oh, not going to be adding... Be I don't want to be added to that so category. So you want to be added to the category of lazy people who don't give... No, it's not lazy. Stuff. I was on air all day. I was on air the whole bloody day. You know, there is... Oh, like... so what's your point? I was sitting on my backside all day, didn't go in to vote. <laughs> you know, there, there's pre-polling, there's postal voting. I didn't want to vote in a compulsory voting system. Well, that's what I'm saying. You could compulsory have written on say. your form. I didn't want to vote for Kevin Rudd, and I didn't in uh, 20... Uh, did you vote for Kevin Rudd no, in 2007? I, I did vote for him in 2007. I did indeed. But you didn't vote for him in 2013? No. I, I voted you... in form formal. Oh, really? I did, yeah. I've said this before. What do you reckon of that, Tom Connell? Former New South Wales <laughs> Labor Premier... Voted in formal. ...voting informal rather than voting for Kevin Rudd. What kind of spiteful hissing is that? Where's no, a bit of loyalty to the party? No, wow. well, the man no who doesn't even bother the... to rock up to yeah. vote. It's Excuse a con me, I'm a conscientious a objector. I filled out a ballot. Conscientious well, I'll $20. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this, though. Because, uh, because ask, preferences... Did, you vote, did oh. you vote for me? I don't think so. I don't think I was in the state, was I? Maybe I was. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Probably um, not. Probably not. All right, Tom Connell. Um, we're out of time with Tom we are Connell. Out of time. I don't have a running order. I don't know whether we've gone no, over. No, but we're out of time. Thanks for your company, Thank Tom. Thank you. See you tomorrow. 20, Maybe, 20 bucks is actually a 20 small bucks fine, isn't Connell. it? Well, you know, you can actually just say you have religious objections, and then I don't think they can fine you. You'd have to have a religious faith, first of all. That's true. To have a religious objection. I could find God, and then I could be a conscientious objector. All right. Well, while Peter goes looking for God, uh, we're going to take a short break. <laughs> we come back, we'll talk about another man. Where's the excuses section on this form? Donald Trump. <laughs>